Hello, my sweet friends. Thank you for being here. My name is Tracy, and I love to share rustic country crafts just like today's projects. I am a true craft junkie, and I love to share my uh, inspiration here on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page and Instagram. So if you like country crafts as much as I do, I hope that you enjoy today's projects. All right, for the first one, I am sharing sharing my patriotic faux books. I was inspired by Pinterest. I will have a link in the description below for my inspiration. I am using these wood uh, pieces. They're the Woodpile brand from Hobby Lobby. I actually used a 40% off coupon. I gave uh, each of them two coats of plaster color chalk paint. I painted the edges of uh, one of the books with this barn red color. And then I painted another one with the navy blue color. And then the other one I left uh, white. I'm using my fine black Sharpie marker and I'm going to write God bless on one of the spines of the books and America on the middle uh, book. And then on the bottom book, I'm just going to draw just freehand some stars with a red Sharpie marker. Then I will take my uh, vintage photo distressing ink and I will just go around it and give it a bit of distressing like uh, which I like to do just to give it an aged look. I will have um, a link to some other books that I have done. I've done some for Valentine's Day as well as for the Easter season. And I just love these little books. They look great on a three-tier tray or on a um, shelf or just something to uh, decorate for the season. I think my favorite part of uh, making these books is decorating the top. So I have this gingham ribbon. Uh, this particular ribbon I got from craftoutlet.com. It's a one and a half inch ribbon and looks very primitive country uh, to me and I love it. Uh, so I just folded it in half and then, uh, you know, so that it wouldn't be quite as wide. And then now I'm just using uh, some paper colored wire and I twisted it around a dowel just to give it a curly Q effect. Then I have some pit berries that I got from a garland uh, from Hobby Lobby. Then I am taking some jute and I am just making uh, a bow and just hot gluing all of that together. And then I just attach uh, it to the top so that it will look really cute uh, just like that. I added three Rusty Star miniature ornaments. These little ornaments came from the mini uh, miniature Christmas section at Hobby Lobby. And I just um, had them on hand uh, I think Hobby Lobby still has them uh, during the Christmas season and they just really dress up my rustic country uh, projects. All right, the next thing that I am sharing with you is my patriotic red truck. Now this is a kind of a two part process only because I needed to create the truck. Now, um, last week in my DIY summer uh, with the sunflowers and the black and white buffalo check, I shared um, that I uh, have a pattern that I, uh, for this truck that is available uh, for a, uh, you know, you can download it to your computer and you can print it out and then you can cut it out and you can trace it on cardboard or wood or something else so that you can use it for projects like this. And so what I did is I traced mine out on just some cardboard. I'm using a craft knife or like a, an exacto knife and just cutting around, um, you know, the lines and cutting out my truck. It's a, a little, I don't want to say time consuming, but I took my time only because this is the first time that I did this. And so I just used the combination of the craft knife and my scissors to cut this out of cardboard. All of this paper came from Hobby Lobby in the scrapbooking section. I just cut, uh, 
you know, my red truck out of uh, cardstock and I'm painting the edges around just in case, you know, like my, uh, you know, if any of the edges showed it, it was brown and I didn't like that. And um, what I found is that the top of the um, paint bottles are the perfect size wheels. So I just cut those out of black cardstock and then I just drew out my fenders, just kind of guesstimated it. And um, for the uh, white walls of the tires, I just used um, a, a punch. And then for the hubcaps, I'm just using some wooden buttons. Then I'm just using my distress ink uh, just to go around, just to add, you know, a bit of distressing and uh, just to give my truck some character. Then now I'm just using my Fabri-Tac glue and I'm gonna glue everything down so that it's all nice and cute. I used my new favorite pen. This is the Posca PCMR1. I will have a link in the description below because it is my new favorite. And I just added some dashes around the truck just to, you know, define it a bit more. Then I used my metallic silver paint to give it some lights and the handle and uh, our truck is ready to go. So then now I'm going to share how I created uh, the picket fence with the red truck decor and I will share a messy bow with you as well. This pick and fence is something that I had in my crafting stash. I've had them for about 15 years. I just rediscovered a bunch of stuff that I haven't used. And so I don't remember where I got them from. I'm very sorry but they can be easily recreated with paint sticks or craft sticks uh, just to, you know, the size that you would like them. I'm also using this garland from Hobby Lobby. I just took uh, the pit berries apart and uh, then I'm going to, you know, use them here in these projects, just sticking them in and hot gluing them, uh, you know, on my truck, just attaching it to my fence so that it gives me the look that I want. For my messy bow, I just cut off some ribbons, you know, five or six inches, um, and then I begin layering them. Um, I like to use a um, more firm one on the bottom. And uh, after I made this bow, I'm like, I really, it kind of was covering up the trucks, but I just went with it. Uh, but anyway, the ribbons are, you know, five or six inches and I just cut them off and then just layer them and then I'm going to gather um, all of them together with a Chanel stem uh, and attach it to my pick a fence. just pulled out some craft tiles. Uh, they're kind of like Scrabble tiles. I got these uh, from Walmart and uh, I just spelled out America. I had taken my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just doodled around the edges of them so that, you know, I could, because that's what I like to do for my projects. I like to add little doodles to it. Then um, for the truck, I'm just using my Posca pen and just writing sweet land of liberty. You 
know me, I have to go and add a little bit more. So I have my uh, 3M Posca pen. It's just the uh, size larger. And I am just making some little polka dots on the truck and make it look really cute. this project I am sharing my patriotic burlap wreath with pit berries. I love to create wreaths and it's one of the things that I do uh, for a local business where I do create wreaths for them to sell in their store. And so I have been super duper busy uh, cranking out those wreaths and I share a lot of them over on my Facebook page, Country Charm by Tracy. I do have um, photos that I share that don't make it here on YouTube only because guys, I don't have enough time. So there's not enough hours in the day to get everything filmed, edited, and uploaded. And so I share tons of uh, wreath inspiration on my Facebook page, as well as my Instagram. So if you uh, would like to see, you know, these projects, I, I give you, you know, different ideas of what I did, what I use, and you can always ask me questions. All right. So it is Country Charm by Tracy over on Facebook. So now let's go ahead and get into today's wreath project because I'm going to share how I did this patriotic burlap, burlap, a very rustic wreath. I started with a 12 inch wire wreath form and this paper burlap mesh is from Walmart and I just cut about 10 inches off and then I rolled it up and then I cut it in half to give me two pieces. And so then here you can see I have um, six of these cut like this and then I'm going to cut all of them in half. And then this um, color of mesh, uh, probably got it at Hobby Lobby or Craft Outlet or something. And I just cut probably eight inches and that is what I'm going to begin layering on uh, my wire form. So there's um, six sections and so I'm going to put two uh, uh, gathers on each like section and so I just have a burlap mesh and I'm just securing them with Chanel stems. I don't I don't know if this is a ruffle or a, I just gather it. I don't even like I just gather it together. This is just kind of what I do just to, to make wreaths. And uh, I just am putting two, I'm putting a, a paper mesh and then putting that um, off-white color. And I have two of these per section. And then I begin layering from there. This mesh is most likely from craftoutlet.com and I'm just cutting it off, uh, I don't know, eight or 10 inches. I just usually roll it out and if I like the link, I just cut it off then. And so I'm just gathering these two. I'm putting it in between the uh, paper mesh and the other one. I'm not putting it on top of this one. I'm just um, finding a spot and just going in between there. And I have six bundles of these, uh, the uh, maroon and the navy, or it's kind of like a deep red and a navy. Um, and that's the way it all looks, all cute together. I used these ribbons and now these red trucks with the American flag are from Michaels and I just cut the length for three trucks. This uh, star ribbon is from Michaels as well and I cut that at 12 inches. Um, this burlap with the blue chevron is from Walmart and that is what I'm going to uh, begin layering on my wreath. 
My cute little sign came from nowhere else but my favorite store, Hobby Lobby. Uh, I did take off the back. It kind of like has a little kickstand. I just removed that and then I stapled it on uh, my wreath. And so I like to do this first before I put my ribbon on so that I don't get my ribbon caught on, in between or underneath um, the, uh, you know, I like to staple it where I can um, have some you know, mesh, have some kind of like meat that, that where my staples won't go through the front. So I always uh, make sure that I have, you know, something secure so that it won't go through the front of the sign. And then I begin layering my ribbon on and I'm going to start with this um, four inch burlap chevron that came from Walmart and I'm putting that uh, layering that on with the uh, deep red and the navy. Then I will um, add the blue stars with the truck and that is going in the ties with the burlap and the off-white mesh. This Pitberry Garland is from Hobby Lobby. I just took the Pitberries off of the garland and it also has the little metal stars on it. And so then I just included the little Pitberries uh, in uh, on the section with the uh, chevron ribbon. I added uh, some gingham um, ribbon. This is that same gingham ribbon that I used for my faux patriotic books. And I just put a knot in it and just cut it off and just glued it on, um, on my wreath and included my little pit berries. If you like uh, wreaths like this, I do have a playlist on my main channel where I do have lots of wreath inspiration as well as sharing more current projects of wreaths that I create for the gift shop that I designed for on my Facebook page as well as Instagram. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your sweet kind comments. I appreciate you all and I will be doing another giveaway very soon. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and uh, like the video and leave me a comment. All right guys, we'll talk to you very soon. God bless. <music>